I think for me, watching those two boosters come down side by side yeah. felt like a transformative moment. It felt like a, oh, we can do anything. And that's the culmination. I was really struck there by the culmination of, you know, a singular vision and hundreds or thousands of very talented people working together to make sure. I was sitting in launch control and looking at the sheer amount of variables that you guys are clocking in those moments before the launch. Wind speed at different altitudes and the status of all the different 27 engines in that, in that. I mean, how do you manage, how do you, you're very hands-on with the details, but you're also looking at the bigger, bigger picture. How do you manage your time? How do you, how do you, how do you parse, you know, how do you zoom in and zoom out and make sure that all these things are coming together? Well, at, at SpaceX, almost all my time is spent on um, engineering and design. Um, it's probably 80 and 90%. Um, and then uh, Gwyn Chartwell, who's president and chief operating officer, takes care of the business operations of the company, um, which is what allows me to do that. Um, and um, yeah, I think in, in order to make the right decisions, you have to understand something. If you don't understand something at a detailed level, you cannot make a good decision. Um, so, um, but I'd, I'd like to just point out, like the, you know, what you saw there is a result of an incredible team at, at SpaceX, super talented people who really work like crazy to make that happen. Um, you know, I think my role is to make sure that they have an environment where they can, they can really, where the talents can really come to the fore, um, and, um, you know, and, and, and uh, but I, I can't tell you how honored and grateful I am to work with such a great team.